Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. This video is pretty late, but I figured I'd give myself a chance to catch up on stuff before I got to editing this footage. Last week was awesome in terms of fishing. I was able to put in nine hours, which is a lot more than I usually fish. The goal is to hit 500 hours by the end of this year, and to do that, I'm gonna have to be putting in around nine hours a week. Like I said, that's more than I usually fish, but uh, I'm gonna have to figure it out because I really do want to continue to make progress towards this goal. Last week, Buddy Danny wanted to take the old canoe out on the bay. Uh, he asked me to keep the spot on the low, so I won't mention it. Those of you that live around here may recognize it, but for those of you that don't, just know it's uh, somewhere in the Ganges River in India. Mangrove, oh no, another blue stripe rock. Yes! Yes, baby, nice fish. Nice fish. <laughs> nice fish, man. Let's go. I really only caught this one blue stripe grunt, but I did manage to have gone to this mutton snapper. It was hard to tell because we barely saw him, but our guess was that he wasn't 18 inches, probably like 16, but it was still a really fun fight on the small rod. Unfortunately, the fish did get away in full disclosure. I think it took the hook with it in its mouth. I know that's terrible and I take responsibility because one of the knots came loose, but it comes to show you that no matter your intentions, it's really easy to damage the environment when you're out there. I may have hurt that fish and I really hope that that hook dissolves quickly, but there's nothing I can do about that now. I just need to make sure that I'm being more careful next time and continue to focus my efforts on cleaning up and conservation. Uh, spot burning and the ethics of fishing are both things that I really wanted to talk about more on this channel. Spot burning in particular has been something that has been coming up amongst my friends recently, not only in the fishing community, but also in the hiking community. I know what I believe and I've shared it before, but there are enough opinions on the internet and I'm still pretty new at this, so I'm going to continue to think about these subjects and hopefully with time and experience, I'll be able to formulate a more educated opinion. As always guys, thank you so much for watching and taking the time to keep up with this challenge. I will see you all next week.